my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you my, or telling you, my top 10 must haves for May of 2021. So I'm aware that's actually already June... Two hours later. 11th. And I'm just now doing my top 10 must haves for May of 2021. But I've actually been kind of busy lately, so this is the first time I've had times like throw a sit down video. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here I just have my little notebook with me of my um, list for this video. So first up is Cali Art Markers. These are my Cali Art Markers. And I got with the 100 set on Amazon, and they're only $28.99. I think they're still that price. They were on sale when I got them. I'm pretty sure they're still that same price. And they are like amazing. I love these. And yeah, they're really affordable, like great alcohol based markers. Right, so now next up is Graphic Tees. So specifically like the boxy ones are really cute. So I know I'm saying so a lot, but I got this one from Walmart. It's a super cute stitch shirt. As you can see, it's like a graphic tee, but it's also boxy. Let me like, scoot back a little bit so you can kind of see. I love it, it's so cute and like perfect for summer and so soft. I would definitely recommend checking out like your local Walmart or like TJ Maxx or any store like that, or even thrift stores, like some cute like graphic boxy tees or any type of like Boxing tea that's really cute and like in style right now. And the next up we have White Converse. So these are actually like off brand, uh, just got them on Amazon. They're only like $20, but they look exactly like the real thing. I need to clean these though. But anyways, so fun fact, I got these for Christmas. Um, and originally I got them like at Christmas or for Christmas. They did fit, but I didn't wear them for a while because we were on like a road trip and without a house for a while. And it was a lot of rain. I don't always want to wear white converse is raining because that just makes them disgusting. And so I actually wore them for the first time like a couple weeks ago. And they were really tight. So now it's going to be my sister. And unfortunately, I looked for Amazon the other day to see the next size up in these. And it literally had every single color but white and size 7, which I wear. And yeah. So I do recommend white converse. They are so cute. And I feel like that would go really well with anything like shorts, leggings, um anything really and then next up we have headphones so I feel like headphones are really good for the most like the first 10 years of my life I only used earbuds but then like I was always losing like little pieces on them because I sometimes like pop them off I was always losing them and, like you always can't really use them anymore once you lose one piece because it hurts your ear doesn't fit the right way but now I have headphones it's really cool because if it ever happens I know I uh, still have something like um to watch movies with so they're like perfect they fit really well they don't fit like the ones, you know, like you use for like state testing school. Those are really big and bulky and hurt your ears. But these fit really comfortably. Like, I wear these for like hours without any pain or anything. And they're like super good. And I just love the color rolls gold. They're actually the same color as my keyboard. I think they're the same brand maybe. Yeah. And then next up, we have leggings. So these are just some super cute. These are from Sam's Club. I think these are the ones I brought on the road trip. Yeah. Um just some black leggings obviously now it's gone a lot hotter than it was in may so i probably won't be wearing leggings that much but this just must have for may of 2021 so leggings. and then next up we have a lap desk so let me fold it in this is my lap desk it's super cute so i got it from tj maxx it's only like 12.99 so you can put it in your lap like this it's foldable I think it's really cool. It's like perfect for like eating in bed too. It folds up. But another really cool thing about this that I really like is that it has a secret compartment. So, let me show you. So the front of it actually opens. So you can put like your art supplies in there and stuff. And then just close back up. And then you also have like places right here to put some stuff. I think it's just really cool. Sorry, he's opening. Okay. So now let's see what's next on my list. Okay, so next up is Pinterest, and this is an app. Like, these next few things are going to be apps. Pinterest is just awesome. Like, I'm always on Pinterest. Like, it's so great for, like, getting ideas. I look on for ideas, like, for Bible study or, like, different art ideas. So, like, Pinterest has the answer for everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the next up is another app, and it's Pixar. I use this all the time for my thumbnails. I'm obsessed with Pixar. I just recently got Pixar Pro, which I'm super happy and thankful for. Um... And yeah, I just love all the stickers on there. They're always adding new stickers. I just recently learned how to make stickers on Pixar. I will be making a video about that very soon. Um, how to make stickers on Pixar. Because there's actually not a lot of videos about that for some reason. And I really struggled with learning how to figure it out before I did. But I eventually found one video. But there's honestly not a lot of videos out there. 
So I definitely will be making a video about how to do that. And then the next app, this is another app too, is YouTube, obviously, because I am on YouTube like 24 7, whether it's watching videos, responding to your guys' comments, talking to you guys, see on Google Meet, so I guess it's not on YouTube, but it's front with people from YouTube, so like it's kind of like YouTube, maybe? Or posting videos, or making videos, or anything. I'm like, I'm always on YouTube. Like, if you look at like the my amount of times on my iPad, like I spend at least like eight hours a day on YouTube. I know that's probably really bad because you're not to spend that much time on your electronics, but yeah, what can you do? And the next up is anything aesthetic. This is actually number 10, the last one. So like anything aesthetic is really in right now. So you know, whether it's like aesthetic um, clothes, aesthetic like school supplies, or aesthetic notebook, anything aesthetic is really in right now. And so if you don't want aesthetic, it means just an eye pleasing. So anything that you think is eye pleasing can be aesthetic. So that has to be one specific thing because aesthetic, literally the definition of aesthetic is eye pleasing. So whatever you find eye pleasing is aesthetic. So, I'm not gonna say so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm aware it was kind of short, but I didn't have that much to say in this video. And yeah, um, I already said, hope you enjoy. So, bye!